All right, everyone, welcome back to DPL. We're going to be getting into the match here of Yakuza versus uh, GB here. Some some of the top two teams in the league here, so it's going to be an interesting fight here. I think we'll get some good competitive matches out of here. And I'm going to be actually casting, and I'm joined here by Roach. Hello. He's going to be telling going? Me. <laughs> Yeah, so what do you think about these teams? I wonder if you're slightly biased towards any one of them. <laughs> oh, only slightly, you know. I think... Uh... Yeah, Yakuza are looking pretty strong, I think. Uh, you know, not not a biased opinion at all, of course. A very objective opinion. I'm not on the team or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, you got the global breakout, the reigning champions for... Uh, how long? I mean, what was it? A full major? It was like their first uh, win against Nemesis. It was when they dethroned Nemesis, right? So, <sighs> Jesus. That's a, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. Um... So yeah, Kuzo definitely uh definitely got a uh, a long road ahead of them to uh to the finals. Uh, this is the uh the kind of I think this is like the the little uh appetizer for the grand finals, right? Possibly. I mean maybe one of the other maybe gnomes or uh or I, I guess Quack yeah, it's Quackodama. No, yeah, yeah, Quackodama will make it into the top four. Um one of those teams might step up. I think during the uh the round robin we kinda saw Yakuza and Global Breakout winning, I think, all their games against the other teams. So I personally, I expect Yakuza Global Breakout Grand Final, but I mean, maybe it'll be something different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're still waiting on the queue, or in the uh, queue here, but we'll hopefully get in soon. But yeah, I think I think I agree. We'll see. I like I said, I think this will be a very competitive match. I'm kind of excited to see. It's definitely a nice palate cleanser after the show I just had to watch for two hours now yeah so, i was watching a little bit of it gosh the visual torture that was on display for a while <laughs> um oh yeah um so yeah i think uh lcg came out on top of that one overall right so they'll be placing fifth place in the rankings which will mean uh they'll get their choice of opponent uh, in the relegations, mm -hmm. um, which could be quite powerful. I mean, um, currently Kickflip and Lotus are through to relegations, and then qualifiers happening tomorrow will determine the other two lower league teams that will uh, go through to relegations. So we'll have to see. I think my bet's probably just on the the third and fourth place uh, from the Swiss stage, uh, wasted potential and Moss Munchers. I think wasted wasted potential have uh, showed up pretty big as as a new team to uh to the scene here and uh, and Mars Munchers they joined late to last season, uh but they still, I mean quite wiped the floor with the with the matchups that they had last season. So <laughs> I expect to see them uh, do pretty well in the qualifier. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I think we've got the uh, the queue pop here. So we're trying to see if we can. Yeah, looks like the teams are in. Mm -hmm. clean stream as opposed to last stream uh <laughs> god I so yeah so as we load in here i think uh obviously my prediction is going to be on yakuza i mean i'm biased as hell but come on <laughs> it's my team i mean who else i'm not gonna say global break oh, i think i think the enemy will win you know <laughs> uh, but how about you are you gonna uh, I mean, I've honestly, I don't know, Scott, I'm always, I'm always very, uh, depending on the team, I'm usually, oh, I got kicked out of the queue. Uh, I'm always very like, oh, you know, either one can win. I, listen, I really like Yakuza, because it's got a lot of people I like on it, but also GB is kind of, you know, GB. This is, yeah. I think this will really decide maybe who is currently like the best team in the league right now. So I think GB yeah, is currently the will, reigning champ. I think it will really show. Uh, th this match will will give us a taster for how far um, Yakuza have really come. I mean, we've we've seen them do well against all the other teams, but I mean, the last time we saw them face Global Breakout was the Grand Finals of last season, where it was decently close. Uh, it went three two as the overall score, um, but I guess we'll see today if they'll uh, they'll take it. But yeah, it looks like we're into the first map, Praetorian Kingdom, Killhouse map. Quite an interesting layout, I think. Uh, 
Yeah, we, we have been seeing uh, Pillbox a, a decent bit more often more recently. It was kind of mm -hmm. out of rotation there for a while. Um, and it's crawled its way back up from the pits of yeah. hell. Yeah, I quite like this Pillbox, uh, Pillbox Blow. Uh, the Office one is... I'd say the Office one is pretty decent as well. There's a bit of rat, rat corners and stuff like that, but it does give you... You can have just people sitting outside the breezeway, so it just gives you access to really close to the bomb. But uh, obviously the crossfires down and around are pretty rough, so it can be a pretty... It's, it's kind of, do you want to take the longer route around through Pillbox, which overall is like each each entry that you have to go through, each door that you have to go through is a bit less threatening? Or do you take the real direct route to the bomb and just go through one really threatening door? That's kind of the choice on this map, I think. And I think uh, either choice could be good. I think we are gonna see. <laughs> I think we are gonna see uh, Yakuza predicting that pillbox push and also the reception push. We see both those barbs are ready there. I think, like you, I mean, I feel like you probably <laughs> maybe know what they uh, they think as being on the team. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we're yeah, it looks like that. global breakout will be going for the pillbox. Um... If you, I don't know, I don't know what to call those shots. Mind games going out. Uh, a few shots <laughs> that or that pillbox storage checking, and Tommy shooting some shots back. Nothing connecting, obviously. It's a very weird door banks here. We're seeing Josh and Ikazo. We're going to be going that reception. Charge goes out, and we see Coop trying to get some damage to that door. Really smart, but it doesn't seem to connect. Uh, we got that uh, that Molly there trying to keep them out for a while. Ikazo trying to see what he can do. Lots of wall bangs going out, but nothing really connecting yet. Oh, we never mind. Tommy managed to take out. Colin in there, we see Josh take out Ku there, and so a little bit of a trade going on. We see Josh in that brick house actually going through. Sachi managed to get up on that pillbox and taking out Ghetto there. Tommy trying to get some revenge, but and getting a bit of damage, but not enough. And we see Photon for a while from pretty far back also getting some good shots in, but not enough to take anyone out yet. So Jet's gonna try and rotate and help them out there. Josh is running in, runs through Jet, and Josh managed to take out Jet. Tommy managed to take out uh, Josh just as revenge there. See Tommy take out Sachi. It is just Argo out of Kazo versus Photon and Tommy. This can go either way. See Argo has that nice pillbox. We got a nice little thing there. Akazo is going to get that flash in, try and get some a uh, little bit of aggro there. And Photon is going to try and run around or try and take some shots there. But Argo is going to actually rotate. Uh, Akazo managed to take out Tommy. It is just Photon in that corner there. And Photon actually takes out uh, Argo there. So it is just Akazo. He's going to throw in that smoke. See what he can do. That is. Oh god, that's, that's a rough play to throw a smoke on Photon, but actually, no, Akazo doesn't take a Photon, and the round does go to GB. Alright. Yeah. Damn, that a was... very close round to start it off. <laughs> Both teams coming out kicking. That was brutal. Like, GB, I think, had a surprise. pretty strong take in the early, really uh, dominating the brick house, killing Coop, uh, just getting in there, uh, jumping up on the billbox uh, boxes, getting ghetto, and. Uh, yeah, they just had a really strong take. They had people rotate around to office and then pinch the site. It's pretty brutal, pretty brutal plan. Um, it was almost uh, countered by Tommy going pretty big with the uh, with the three K and then Photon, obviously. Uh, I think yeah, it in the one v two at the end, but uh, he can clutch it out. Kazo picking up the last kill. I think he heard uh, Photon shooting as he was running through the smoke so he kind of knew where he'd pop out of i was expecting that that smoke to really help out photon i'm like you know he's known for being a shotgunner photon yeah. anyone who has a shotgun is usually born in the smoke molded by it so figured that would help him out real well but actually he did end up getting shot in it i think running out of it a little bit may have been a little uh a little scary but i don't know we'll see if maybe they can shape up here so yeah odysseus judgment Bank map. Um, yeah, I don't think I've seen this one too too often. Um, but yeah, first impressions: the uh, the lobby's a bit easier than usual, just because you don't have to worry as much about the uh, the mop getting like a direct angle down into the entrance. You know, those uh, those couches or whatever they are, they uh, they block off the mop mop angles from Teller, so it's pretty nice. Uh, the loans. Kinda a little bit rough. You kind of got the ability to kind of hide behind the uh, the vending machines back here, but uh, obviously you do have the green split as an option with loans, so it is a little bit more appealing for that. 
Um, but it does look like Global Breakout are looking more towards Lobby, um, which I, I like. I mean, you can play Anti-Flash outside the security, so it's not as easy to get into security, but in reality, you kind of just chuck a flash in, send one guy like this, and he just watches the door as someone else goes and presses the button. I don't think the security is too difficult to take, although you might be able to do some some nasty stuff, maybe like a, a knack sitting in in hallway ready to wall bang whichever uh whichever what is it a man trap go they go through um <laughs> so we'll see if uh if I, I can spot the uh the max spot we are gonna see i think is that gonna be no it's gonna be one in oh they're doing i've i love that everyone has started to figure that out of just take the mollies and stack them in vault like literally just drop extra mollies there <laughs> Yeah, Tommy loves doing that. We just had we just had them all the mollies and boom. <laughs> that that charge go out. We're gonna see Koo in that uh security gonna be holding that down. No actual like uh competition there in that lobby or teller, so we see that smoke go out. Playing a little bit safer than they need to, but it's fine. They got the saber, so they don't wanna lose that too badly. And we see Argo ready in that manager to drop it on ghetto, a little bit of a standoff there. Some shots to teller just to make sure no one's there, but no one is gonna be sitting there. Jet's actually gonna be playing that back just in case they go in that teller and Ku is ready with that shotgun. He doesn't even honestly do that much there. Just the fact that he is there is a pretty big uh, deterrent. Uh, and Ghetto actually backed off in there. Oh, and Jet gets a nice shot into Josh, takes out Josh, but uh, Jet is a little bit hurt from that. They're taking another fight with Argo and Argo takes a little bit of damage, but does manage to take out Jet there and is getting a little bit of shots there on Photon. We see them move into that security. We see Ku and Ghetto ready there. Sachi trying to get some shots to Ku, but nothing is connecting. I think Ghetto is probably gonna be ripping out that knack here soon. I'm surprised he hasn't started shooting yet. And yep, and now he's, that button goes out. He's going to be ready. He's going to get some shots. Nothing much. Ku goes in, but managed to get taken out by Colin there. And Ghetto's trying to do some stuff. Uh, Photon's going to run around, trying to take out Argo there. Uh, Ghetto manages to run in, take out Sachi. He's going for Colin, but does get taken out. Photon takes out Argo there. It is just a Kazo and Colin versus Tommy. And Photon there. And Tommy has a wealth of mollies there. Photon's going to try and basically... Uh, if, if Tommy can take their attention and Photon can maybe get a pick every now and then to kind of, you know, make them not so feel so safe in that section there, he could probably do something. But, I mean, Colin is like a breath away from death, so, oh, never mind. Uh, Photon does get taken by Kazo. Tommy is, oh, Tommy does just take out Colin there. So it's just a Kazo who's going to have to run in with this, uh, this saber there. And both of them sure, are pretty time, low. Though. Yeah, oh, and, yeah, no, they are not yeah, going to get the bomb. So now they're just gonna have to save that run, and no, the round does go to Yakuza, and they do manage to get that saber there. That is a oh, pretty... Molly spam, dude. <laughs> Stacking mollies and bull, it worked out for them. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw, I saw right at the end. I was hoping that Photon would do it. He was kind of running down to maybe go hit the uh, the button in security, but I think, uh, I think uh, maybe some teammates were like. Uh, there was a guy in security there for quite a while, so they weren't really sure if he had rotated out just yet. So maybe the safer option was kind of just going up and trying to uh, trying to just hold them off, get, like distract them if he could, because they were getting pretty short on time. I mean, Tommy knew uh, he had a few more mollies there, <laughs> so Photon could just waste a bit of their time. Could really help them out. But uh, yeah, also Ooh, this is going to be a rough map not to have Saber on. Yeesh. That's, that's, yeah. that's a big loss there for GB. Very long range things. I, I, more recently on these kind of maps, I've seen that uh, some of these shelvings kind of go to the uh, the two tall shelvings. They kind of uh, like above head height or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, just to give the defenders a bit of cover that they can sit in the middle of the storefront um, when the shutters get open. But I don't think this map has any of that. I think Saber could see all the way over there or the other side uh, the defenders with the morph or if they pick up the saber which uh tommy has at the moment actually uh they can see all the way out into the storefront so uh yeah i think uh on this map looks like gb are looking towards freezer personally i'm not a huge fan of freezer but uh, i mean this is gb so I'm not going to question their plans, you know, I think I'll be a bit daft of me. Um, I, 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 I'm surprised they're looking at Freezer, personally. Uh, I, I'm, yeah, I, I just hate... I think the times I've gone Freezer, there's always like a person sat back here in a little rat spot, and then people over across from Arcade. It's always so annoying to get through, but um, maybe they're thinking they can just burst through quick enough to uh, that the defense won't be able to react in time. 
because yeah, if you if you can get through and take control of fridges, it's a it's a pretty strong place to uh to hold just that kind of centerpiece of the map. I think fridges is a pretty important area to hold. So we'll see what their play is here. See, oh yeah, we're seeing both mop and saber on this, which is gonna be. Uh, yeah, they're gonna be playing at storefront. I think they are slightly expecting storefront. Actually, maybe not. No, because they, they have that X. They're, they're expecting, I think, actually a storage, maybe storefront low. Do they have two charges? Uh, or something, I don't know. They, uh, yeah, we are gonna yeah. see, I think, a split from storage, which makes sense. They're I definitely expecting think- expecting either a green wool charge into fridges or like a wool charge into from office, it seems like, or just a storefront. I don't think they were expecting the freezer, though. See that George charge go off on freezer. We see a little bit of damage on Josh there from Tommy, doing pretty good on those uh, preemptive shots. And we see Okazo trying to even get anyone. Oh, Ghetto just takes out Colin there. Nice shot there. That's gonna be a big. Uh, that's gonna mess up that push a little bit. But Okazo's gonna be throwing a smoke there. That's gonna work out. Hopefully a little bit. Some shots going out in between that freezer area. Sachi taking a little bit of damage. And Josh on death door there. We see a flash go out and Tommy managed to take out Josh there. Tommy and Photon holding down that storefront. We see Kuja just run, or, run around, just pop Argo and Jetman stick out Kaza there. Now it is just Sachi on this. He has that smoke. He's going in on Ghetto there. Man, stick out Ghetto and does get taken behind by Tommy there. And the round is going to go to Yakuza. Yeah, we saw GB get caught up on that barbed wire over in uh, storage there between storage and fridges. I think that was the their main area of contesting. I think. Their idea was they would put three towards green, they take fridges control, and once they have fridge control, coming out of freezer is much, much easier with the uh, with the two people. But I think uh, they just got held off on that um, on that barbed wire. And so then the people coming out of freezer were just in that that really those really rough angles I was talking about. You know, uh, I think Jet and I think Tommy was down were down at the south side of uh, storefront. We were just uh, absolutely destroying them in, in freezer. But um yeah, I think I think if they had a nade, I'm not sure that they use the nade on the uh, on maybe the the first screen. I don't know if there was a barb on green door or whatever. If they had a nade for out fridges, I think it could have been a pretty good push though. They they were prepared for it. They had the smoke down. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, moving on to the back to the kill house we saw in the first round, we saw GB take the pillbox approach, um, blowing pillbox. It worked out really well for them. I mean. They ended up kind of going all over the map. They even went office a little bit. Ikazu at the end was coming from Breezeway. Um, but it does look like uh, Yakuza, I think, under the, the pillbox as well. Uh, I think doing pretty much the same strategy that um, that GB did, where uh, have a couple guys go reception as well, clear out the barbed wire here. It just makes it easier to take control of Brick House rather than having to go through the, the one door from pillbox. Mm -hmm. um, looks like they they're are... pretty two towards pillbox are they? oh yeah they are okay i mean that i guess that kind of makes sense because pillbox is pretty well hmm. I, don't know. I feel like you'd want like two to so you can get in at least like three so you can get like two to go into that brick house and uh, or maybe just one to go in the brick house honestly and then just two to hold that pillbox and just look through club because that'll help you out pretty well there but i don't know yeah it might be three towards the reception maybe to just have one person watching the hallway while two people push into brick house Mm -hmm. um, which is fair enough, I think. I, I don't think the the two three who goes where it matters too much. Um, yeah. But I I definitely do like the split. Yeah, I don't, I don't really see many teams going for the office personally. I don't think I've, I'm not sure I've ever seen that door get blown to be honest. I, I don't think it looks too bad, but I I don't think any team bothers with it. Mm -hmm. I, I think probably the uh, the green door here is just a, like on, on club is just a little bit too uh, too difficult, too scary to get through. We'll put it that way. See, oh, Tommy immediately to take out Sachi, and we see a mop. Jeez. I think we hear a mop shot there. It doesn't connect to anyone, but damn, that is doing a wall bang. That is brutal. That is club completely uh, left on its own. See Josh trying to take out Ghetto. Gets in to take out Ghetto, but does get taken out by Ku. And Argument to take out Ku actually. So it is just Photon of that reception there. That was honestly not that bad of a trade there. I think it's genuinely fine. It's a three v three now, and Photon is a bit hurt. He's pretty hurt, yeah. Yeah, we see that charge go out, so they're going to be getting the pillbox. Colin is going to be rotating to look through pillbox. We can see that. Yeah, he's taking Versace. was looking up. Argo is watching from pretty far away, I think. Maybe with an LS. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, he's got... You no, know, he's, he's just he's doing the knack. All right, long range knack. I'm for it. Uh, we see that, or that Molly go out there. For, or Jet trying to see what he can get done with that. Uh, Saber thinks he's get a little bit of damage, but is taken up by Akaza with that mop. Oh, wait. Uh, no, Photon was taken by Akaza's mop. No, I'm mistake. 
Uh, we're gonna see Jet and Tommy try and lock this down. It's gonna be pretty rough for them. If we can get a flash in there and get Tommy in ready. Oh, uh, and Tommy is taken out by Akazo. But Jet does manage to get Akazo back. Uh, let's see, it is just Jet versus Colin and Argo there. Uh, he's gonna kick on that door. Argo is ready for him, and the round is gonna go towards GB. Yeah, uh, YY definitely got caught out in the reception there. They had the uh, Josh ratting in reception, peeks out, gets a kill on the ghetto. He does get traded, but Argo immediately opens up the hallway door, and as YY are distracted with Josh, uh, kills someone in the back. So I think overall, a trade that was kind of in the favor of, uh, of GB, but GB lost someone earlier in the round um, while they were doing early peeks on pillbox, so... It was kind of evened out, although YY had some more damage taken. Uh, but yeah, then GB, I, I think, kind of shut down the push so early that it was kind of rough for YY to get in. So just a really good defense by GB. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, moving back to the bank. Last time we saw GB go entrance um, and push in, but they kind of just, really, they just got caught out on time. Uh, I think if they had a, if they were a little bit quicker getting into security and hitting the button, they probably would have had a, a much better time, a much easier time. But mm -hmm. um, I wonder. I just love that they just stacked so thing. many mollies in that vault. Yeah, I love doing that. It's so fun. Save all the mollies for bank and just sit someone in the vault. You know, mm -hmm. three, four, maybe even five mollies. Sometimes you know what? Just they open the vault and they think that's the round over. Uh uh. -uh. <laughs> I mean, each molly is like eight seconds, so... Yeah, that's like, it's like eight or like seven seconds, so yeah, that is yeah. a rough amount of time. Yeah, you gotta be careful on, on maps like these where, uh, you know, you might think, oh, you know, there's a mil minute left on the clock, we got plenty of time to get into the vault. Uh, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be so certain. But and We um, are gonna see GB hold this a little bit more aggressively than YY did. Yeah, it looks like the thing about a four-barb setup, so using more... More, more eco on this map, I guess. More economy, more utility. Um, it seems like they they want to put a lot of mollies towards security. Doesn't it? Doesn't look like they're going to be doing the uh, the stack the mollies in the vault strat, unfortunately. No, but, I think they're um, going to try and lock down the button more than vault. Yeah, it seems like they're definitely expecting the uh, the entrance push here, holding uh, three people towards entrance. Um. Uh. I'm not really sure what YY is doing. Are they just going... I think they're going manager. Maybe they're going to wall charge into security or something? No, I think they're just doing a full eco. Yeah. That's fair, I guess. I mean, honestly, none of the ways they're going, are they're really going to meet any resistance. Like, Colin is the only one on that way that is, if they go through manager to hall, they're going to actually, like, meet someone to stop them there. Like, Akazo might get a mob shot through that window, but that's basically it. Like, it's not really... Yeah. I think what they're probably thinking is this map is rough. Next map with a double charge is much more appetizing. It's much more appealing, right? So they're yeah. probably just like, you know what? We'll try our best in this round. We're mostly throwing this round so that we can have a much easier time on the next round. Wait, so I'm actually moving into a county after they go manager, but they're they're chasing that mop they heard. They're ready for it. We see a few shots go out. Uh, Ku and Jet are really damaged, but Akazo is about half from that uh, that risky mop shot. And oh, Jet managed to take out Saji on there. That's really good, actually. We're gonna see some flashes go out here. I think Josh trying to get some wall bank there. Not really much connecting. Some running in, rushing into that lobby there. Found a Kazo in the smoke, took him out. That is Mop gone. Argo managed to take out Jet, and Coop, Coop managed to get the trade onto uh, Argo there. And Josh and Coop both go down. It is Ghetto and Tommy and Photon all versus Colin in that security. As much as that sounds bad as a 3v1, he does have the security doors he gets to play off of, so. He could still do something here. This isn't entirely out for them. We see that flash go out. Yeah, he's playing the anti-flash. He talked about that first round. And uh, Photon, just a quick hit onto, onto Colin there. And the round will be going to Yakuza. Jeez, yeah. I guess uh, GP just weren't expecting the aggression from Yakuza. They were probably expecting some sort of wall charge into security or something. Like I was when when, when YY were jumping out. But, um... Yeah, I, I, I think GB early on were kind of peaking YY a little bit with Sachi and, a, and Akazo on the mult, but um, they did, the defenders did use a, a nade that didn't really hit anybody, unfortunately. That would have been kind of funny. But um, I'm honestly yeah, surprised. Think... Like, they heard that mop shot and it sounded like they took it as a dinner bell and just went in. <laughs> Dude, they were hungry. <laughs> Like, like, cause I, they were like, kind of like being safe, like holding that, and then I just, they just heard that try and map, uh, like 
mop wall bang and maybe they were gonna go to manager originally but it looked like they were gonna go towards loans instead and they just went nah all manager and just ran in and it worked out really well for them because yeah, i mean he's got to reload really and he's got to run so it makes sense to go get some food tommy oh god tommy's got eight kills there damn yeah tommy going huge i think that clutch in the vault definitely helped him Mm -hmm. uh, overall, the damage looking pretty even, uh, a bit more even on YY than on um, than on GB. Argo, uh, in terms of damage, at least uh, stepping ahead of uh, of the rest of GB. But um, yeah, overall, looks like a pretty even match. I think YY going into the last round of this half are definitely uh, definitely favored because they got the double charge for this map. Unless mm -hmm. they used the double charge on the first map and I just like, or, uh, and they lost it or something. I, I don't think so though. I'm pretty sure they'll be using the double charge here. They've got an X marked on the, uh, on the storefront, but they don't have the wall charge down. Maybe it's bugged or something. Yeah, I think we're. Yeah. GB doing see. a pretty, pretty normal barb setup. One in freezer, expecting a freezer. One in arcade, just so that, you know, a wall charge in can't just quickly run into arcade, take it. And then just a simple one over on, on storage green door, just I'm, to kind of slow them down there a bit. I'm also surprised they're not going to throw that one on the fridges there, because that fridges bar really screwed them up last time. Like, that was pretty pretty deadly there, so I'm surprised you're going to see it on stores instead. Oh, never mind, they moved it! <laughs> they they moved I, was, I was actually going to say I disagree, because... Oh, hello. The dog wants to say hi. Um, He's the real I was going to say, I mean, why do I have a, a double charge here? So if they're going to go storage, they're probably doing some sort of double charge where they come out of office or, or they come out of fridges alongside blowing like freezer. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and they so moved it back. They heard. heard. Yeah, okay. They heard me, apparently. Um, we got the one yeah, talking because they bugged the booth. <laughs> if, if they are going storage, they're probably blowing into fridges or something. So you kind of want to hold it a little bit earlier. But um. Yeah, it looks like they're doing five down to the south side. You know, marked out three going storefront, so two going freezer. Mm -hmm. Those charges go out. I think they're Colin and Kaz are trying to hide a little bit. Oh, flash right onto Colin. Oh, actually, a nade Ooh. right onto Colin. I did he? He took no damage from that. Yeah, he was hiding behind the sandbags. Yeah, oh sandbags. wow, that was that was catching the shrapnel. The frozen chicken nuggets are really frozen. All right, Johnny, oh, yeah, out jet there. I'm trying to move into that fridges and Argo managed to take out Photon there. Yeah, Tommy is going into that arcade. You see Coop running and get taken or er, takes out Okazo. Colin is ghetto and Coop in to take out Colin. It is uh Tommy is hiding in that arcade and we see Josh take out Coop there. That whole freezer side is gone. It is just Tommy versus the three there. They're all really hurt, so it isn't done for him yet. He can still do this. Let's see, he's kind of playing a little safe. Honestly, at this point, probably playing safe is a better idea. Jiggling around and Teller there. He can see, I think he can see Argo there. Now he can, definitely. As they're open, opens the door on him, gets Argo to that door. He's looking around for Sachi there. I think he's got the, oh, he's got the power. He's oh, Sachi. that was rough. He had it the so close rat, there. Dude. Turned off the power <laughs> and just got shot, sprayed all over his back. Damn, that was rough. Dude, Sachi taking a dump here. Someone turn off the power. It's like, what's going on? <laughs> Hey, who turned off the lights? <laughs> who turned off the lights? I can't see shit. But, um, yeah, no, it just looked like, man, I, the teams have kind of just swapped free rounds, right? That bank <laughs> was like a kind of free win for the, man, this dog is really annoying. The bank was kind of a free win for the defenders. They lost it. This was kind of a free win for the attackers. They lost it. Kind of just swap, swap rounds. Why not? But yeah, split half. Pretty close game so far. I'm enjoying it, enjoying it for sure. Mm -hmm. So, new set, new maps, factory. And on Wolf... Wolverine holes. <laughs> <laughs> Do Wolverines make holes? Is that where they live? I don't think so, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I quite like this map. Um, you know, I, I think I also enjoy Wolverine's Hole. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like Wolverine Hole, yeah. Um, <laughs> quite a fun time. But, um... Oh my god. <laughs> but uh, the map itself is actually kind of unique. Um, the, the server farm, I feel like you can play this quite a few ways. You need to play it pretty passive and just play around the kind of 
Pipeworks uh, dock and office areas. Because, uh, you know, office giving you control of the Pipeworks up here gives you a, uh, the elevated ground. Um, but you can also hold just like really hard towards server farm and stuff like that. Get some like uh, aggressive barb set up around here and like back here. Um, and with a couple mollies, you can really shut down the server farm pushes. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the attack side, I don't think it's as versatile. Some people like doing this this dock into office push, but man, it's that so dangerous. Off. Dude, it, it's so dangerous. You've got like so a guy right back there. here, someone in office with a molly ready, and then you've just got this like really narrow like entryway to that red door. Mm -hmm. Like often if I see like a, a dock like this, for example, where it's like a really narrow long entryway to it, I'm just like, eh, maybe not. Because if they open it up, you're kind of dead. When you see that smoke there, it's probably a good idea because Akaz is ready there with the mop watching that red door. We see, or what, was in the green door there. We see tons of shots. I, should, I think I was calling shooting, but I don't think it hit anyone. <laughs> I was like, I heard the shots like looking at the damage. They're like, where, where, where? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> so, see Jet watching that, uh, that fan there. I think we, Akaz would take the shot, but nothing really connects. Again, lots of shots from everyone, but nothing really hitting. We see two flashes on server farm. Tommy's going to moving in and is going to be taking out Akaz from behind. So that's their mop down early while Saber is still ready on jet there i think they're going to be blowing that fan soon argo is watching that fan so you're going to probably have to worry about that where they take up the mop some shots going out i think from josh trying to see if he can hit anyone but sadly no one has hit there we see colin going from behind trying to take them out and jet managed to take out argo there that's really good that's pretty good for yakuza there they get that whole back pipe works now and with jet up on that pipe works is really good see josh trying to get some damage on there i think it's a little bit of damage on Jet and Tommy, but so or, but Colin and Josh are really low or getting hurt there. And Jet may take out Josh. See Coop taking a little bit of damage there. They're on bomb. They're trying to get it. Coop's just gonna hold it. He doesn't need to do anything else. He's got it perfectly. Omni bombs helping him out there. He should be fine. Sachi's gotta move in soon or do something. See Tommy run in and take out Colin. And Photon just comes around and takes out Sachi. And the round will go to Yakuza. Damn. Jeez. I, I think GB just gave them a bit too much of a um of map presence on the north side. GB were kind of really stacking it towards the south side. Uh, they had a Kazu on the Mort, uh getting some early picks in server farm, but he's, he kind of overstayed his welcome a little bit and, and just didn't, was just a little bit uh, too late on trying to get out of there. Uh, so he's he trying to get early those... and then... Yeah, he's trying to get those yeah. early picks on server and probably should have rotated over to watching Fan to get Jet out because if they, if they didn't have Jet there, that would have been huge because losing that Saber there for how well they got Pipeworks with that Saber would have been really good to kill but sadly it didn't work out that way for them yeah because then after that it was really just like argo was kind of the only one up there being able to watch fan and the entry and the attackers just pushed in they were up up on pipeworks they you know they were going down south through the uh pipeworks area and they just they just got a huge foothold in that north side of the map and were just able to use their flashes and smokes to just uh you know take those long range picks and uh and get onto site with omni bomb you know it's pretty hard to uh to get luck into cargo container and kill someone mm -hmm. yeah dome twilight dragoon a uh fortunate uh, i guess i was gonna say fortunately less naughty name but mm -hmm. uh you know what the, the naughty the naughty names are kind of fun so i'm, I'm kind of disappointed <laughs> now but um we'll always remember wolverine hole <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um I think this is a a, a a decently versatile dome. Um, I, I think I, d I don't think the jungle red door is all that great. I, I think most of the time I see people kind of going towards observation just to take the uh, a little bit of a it's, it kind of gives you a little bit of a foothold into pit because taking pit from the base alone is kind of rough. But if you also have the observation presence, it makes it significantly easier. You can kind of see people kind of over at the green door there i think you might be able to get an angle and actually no it doesn't look like it looks like the bomb blocks it but you can get flashes in nonetheless um which helps with the with the base push a lot you can also kind of take free lights you just get like one smoke down jump in the smoke hit lights it's, it's kind of free to be honest so that's probably what's going to happen here um just all the base split i'd, I'd more or less assume like, you can kind of go towards jungle, but it's also kind of rough. I said this map was versatile, and now I'm saying it's not at all. I'm kind of <laughs> contradicting myself. I just realized. I'm like, actually, wait, it's not versatile at all. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty linear map, now that I think about it. So I'm, I'm, they're going to go pretty linearly, just through observation. They're going to meet Josh yeah, and Akaz over there. 
I'm surprised they have that barb on Josh there. I didn't think his position was like really strong enough that having a barb there was like an amount. I yeah, I think, they wanna, I think they just want to do a lot of presence in the observation. Kind of get it early. Hopefully get some picks. Molly comes Flash out. Flash immediately and Josh kills himself. A Cosmo to take out Kuda. That's at least something there. A little bit of a trade going on. We see that nade go out. I think that's going to get both those barbs. Yes, that gets both those barbs. Photon, Big Hurt, and Akazo is like a look from death. See, Tommy's going to try and get into that pit and flank there. Would hopefully help them out there. And Akazo's looking to see if maybe he can get Ghetto there. The Ghetto is just holding that safe. So that flashes go out. Uh, we see Tommy trying to take some shots in. And I'm still surprised Akazo is alive. Honestly, Ghetto's getting in and managed to take out Akazo. Jet takes out Colin and Ghetto takes out Sachi. Now it is just Argo on that back foot. See if he can do anything. Ghetto is just running up. He's not going to waste any time. Just saying, nah, die. And there we go. Ghetto takes out Argo and the round goes to Yakuza. Yeah, I mean, a nice push from Yakuza, but really, I think it was another situation of, of GB giving too much map presence. They kind of had uh, like three people down on the jungle side and YY just did not go there. Mm -hmm. They uh, they killed Josh up here, Akazo had to fall back, and that was it. They had pit control, more or less. One flash in, they're up, and they, they can see up the, the stairs, and that was basically round over. It was... Yeah, GB just weren't rotating fast enough. They weren't on the ball with their rotates, so... I think if uh, if GB really want to pull this back, they really got to look at those um, those rotates and uh, make the, the, the calls a bit more snappier to, to get their rotates back. Because uh, I think, yeah, both these last rounds were, were kind of down to GB just being out of position, really. But um, we'll see how they do on this next map. Apollo um, Adder. Apollo Adder. I am staring at the names now. I am so excited for every map's name now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Photon passing the 1,000 damage mark. Uh, I think Argo was uh, pretty close to it as well, though. Mm-hmm. Something was, I think like Tommy has like 12 kills or something right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jack's that crazy. Yeah, he's on 11. Oh my oh goodness. god. <laughs> 11 and 3. They're pulling their weight over there at you. Yeah, why why? Yeah, I don't I don't think I've played on this map before. I think it's a new one for me. Um Oh, we had why, last, I think why uh, yeah. thinking about a a double charge. Kind of interesting, but uh, yeah, the, there is the potential to face a barbed wire on that breezeway, so they'd kind of be spending a lot of utility on this map if they want to do that, that double charge. Mm -hmm. uh, now they're thinking about maybe just a, a straight green push. Oh, maybe another double charge on the other side of the map. <laughs> to be fair, it is quite a big map with a lot of uh, kind of snaky ways that you have to go. You have to kind of have to snake around the map in order to get to the bomb. Mm -hmm. So a double charge does look quite appealing just to kind of, you know what, there may be a wall in my way, but I, I got something to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, we had this uh, we had this uh, map last uh, last series with the uh, Los Chachos with LCG, and that pillbox was pretty pretty important in this. They, I think, what is it? I think Los Chachos tried to do a wall charge through club, and that didn't work out very well for them. And I said I wondered if anyone would try and just go breezeway, because it's probably like the fastest way on a bomb, and I think they're going to do that. I think they... The problem is that um that pillbox is really good if you don't have that. But actually, uh, it might not be as good just because there's I don't know it's it's really close. So pretty much anyone who's yeah. shooting through, you can probably take them out pretty easily. So yeah, Even the defenders just... have some pretty early barbs set up just to slow down the attackers, and then they have a, uh, a reactive barb on site that they're gonna throw down. We see what I thought was gonna be huge damage for Colin. Actually, Colin taking a lot of damage there from, I think, Ku and them just shooting through. We see some more barbs go out. Colin getting some big damage. He's out Koopa. Koopa managed to get the revenge kill. And we see, or, or not, Ghetto managed to get the revenge kill. My mistake. He didn't come back from the grave yet. Um, we see, see Tommy take out Josh there. Some big damage to that door there. They're really using that door pretty well. We see Tommy, I think he's gonna try and make sure they have no one going behind. We probably got a Jet taking a big damage there from that Molly. Oh, Yakaz just runs out and just clears Ghetto there. We see Argo take out Jet. This is getting pretty bad for uh, YY here. And Tommy's gonna have to come around and help him out. He's getting ready. They both got they got two flashes and Photon's holding on to an Igmar pretty well, so that can help them out a little bit. We see maybe get a flash in there soon. We see oh, Argo managed to take out Tommy. I think that was with an LS. Yeah, we see um, we see Photon trying to see what he can do here. I would well, it's it's a is it, is it round before they switch. Um. 
Yeah, it is. Okay, as I was gonna say, I was like, I would save the clock. I was like, wait a second, no, let me let me check for something stupid because I'm pretty sure it's for the switch. <laughs> I've done that before. So let's see, Photon just sneaking up. He is. It's probably his best bet. If they just don't know where he is, this will work out pretty well. I'm watching from his perspective now. Oh, he's he's gonna he's pulling a fake flash. That's not bad. And gets taken out by a swing from Argo, and the round does go to GB. Yeah. A great hold from GB, really. Um, I'm not sure about the bar placement here. I think he was trying to get it a bit further to the right, Sachi, but he didn't have much time to do it, so fair enough. Uh, it did let Ghetto get around, but to be fair, kind of helped GB, because then Ghetto was split from the rest of the group. Um, yeah, no, that hallway. Yeesh. Mm -hmm. They were really getting slaughtered in that hallway. Really, that Molly came down. Uh, slowed down their push long enough that GB could get their rotates in, unlike the last couple rounds. Just some they serious rotates in, really in that hallway. And yeah, they were just spamming through the door, spamming through the wall with the knack. And uh, and YY just, uh, no matter how patient they were, they just kept getting little chips of damage until until they fell over, keeled over. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, a much stronger defense from, from GB. Uh, but yeah, back on Wolverine, Wolverine Hall. Hall. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going straight into Wolverine Hall here. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Can you say that on Twitch? <laughs> you could say that. What are you talking about? It's, it's, what, are you, what are you thinking? It's a map. It's a map name. But, uh, yeah. It's looking like uh, GB thinking about the uh, the dock blow, which I'm, I hate. I, I hate it. I'm, I'm just gonna say it straight up. I, I don't like this blow at all. I, I guess they, they want to get the smoke in deep. I, I hate throwing smokes like that, man. If I have to throw a smoke further than like, I don't know what, ten tiles or whatever, five tiles, I'm like, can someone else do it? Dude, I never, I never hit smokes that are too, that are too far away. I always miss them somehow. Like bounce off like a railing or like a signpost hanging from the ceiling, and just to get in my way. Like specifically designed to be in my way. Mm. But um. Yeah, uh, they are expecting the the barb up in office. Um, I guess they're bringing a nade for it or something. I'm not really sure. Because like generally with pushes like this, you just want to be as quick as you can, take control. I'm guessing what they'll do is they'll just burst onto dock, go right instead of up into office. I mean, take they do have like a foothold in dock there. They are ready for that. Uh... I think they're gonna try and jump on that railing and get up on that that office that way. <laughs> I think they're gonna try oh and pull some God. parkour mo moves. You can see that I, line, you're right? You're right. That's exactly what they're doing. They're gonna smoke here to block off the angles, and they're gonna jump up into office like that. Okay, you know what? This becomes significantly better with that. With just using. That. They're gonna pull out the Tony Hawk skateboard and try and get a Molly Josh running into that volley. No bar there. Just runs to the bar or that isn't there. Takes out Ghetto immediately takes very a lot of big damage and gets taken out by photon but that's going to shake up their office defense there and photon gets taken out by argo jet is waiting there with the mob see what he's doing a cosmic takes out ku there actually and colin is just going to walk around and see if he can get tommy there and tommy takes out sachi there and jet oh actually a also took out jet it is just tommy who is taking out argo as well tommy pulling his weight but gets taken out by colin sadly and the round will go to gb wow Damn, yeah. I was so fast I couldn't make the joke about Tony Hawk kick flipping onto that bit, but all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, Josh just getting up there, getting the foothold, getting the map presence in office so quickly. Really, I think just um. I think he didn't, he didn't even end up doing that. He just like saw there's no bar. Yeah, just, all right, just no ran bar, through. Right. Go get him. <laughs> there's your mistake. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna abuse that. But um. Oh yeah, but they'd, yeah, they'd have nice. Mop and Saber. Oh boy. Yeesh. Yeah, next couple of rounds gonna be a bit rough for YY, I think. No sniper against uh, all the snipers. But yeah, no, um, Flashbang came down. Ghetto was uh, disoriented because of it. Josh getting in there, getting a bit pick on that. And even when he was traded, it was kind of too late because because uh, GB, the Molly had ran out. GB were already pushing onto Doc and getting that yeah. little foothold, so yeah. GB just played really aggressive on Wolverine Hole. <laughs> Don't worry, there were 20 worse jokes that I had planned, but I have a slight filter. Let's see the stats here. We see, oh god, big damage from uh, actually from Yakuza. The top three have over a thousand, and 
that's pretty good. Tommy with 14 kills. I mean, he earned them that last time. He almost held that last bit his own there. Yeah, I mean, last half we saw Yakuza pretty much even on damage. This half we're seeing uh, we're seeing GB kind of equalize the damage, even out the damage. Uh, the players are, are really starting to... The kind of gap between the top and bottom damage is closing quite quite rapidly. Um, so we just basically, we see all the players, you know, picking up. But um, yeah, I mean, here's the the apparently versatile, but not really uh, map. Um, we see, yeah, observation take, <laughs> big surprise. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, the sound side of the map is just too many rat angles, it's just a bit rough to push, really. Mm -hmm. um... <laughs> but yeah, um... Rod yeah, is well, meant to be quiet saw... and not seen. <laughs> last time we saw GB kind of hold the south side a bit too strong, they had three players down there and they didn't ro qu rotate quick enough. Um... This time, just judging by the circles drawn, I mean, they, YY have three circles drawn up in Pit. It looks like they're going to be holding Pit a bit heavier. Um, still a little bit of presence down to jungle, but yeah, I mean, I, I guess my team is playing the way my I, I would play kind of thing. I mean, that makes sense, right? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. But um, yeah, I mean, there's not really much else to just say. Just start IGLing the plans pretty, here. Is, yeah. <laughs> Mate, I, it's great being on YY because it just ghetto takes care of everything. I mean, he just that makes the master cool. plan. We're just like, oh, oh, yeah, that's the plan. Cool, thanks. And we just walk in. Um, we're just gonna do that observation. We're gonna see both Mop and Saber on this. I honestly, as much as like, oh wow, they lost Saber. I feel or Mop. I only think it's really good for that Jesus. angle that Jet just died in. Up. <laughs> that Akazu just put a hole through his head there. We see that Molly goes out and a flash. I don't really know what the point of that flash was, to be honest. Just that nade go out. Doesn't take out any of that barb either. Oh, another flash out. No one there. So that Molly goes out. Josh must take out Ghetto there. We, see a, we hear a lot of saber shots there. Tommy is a little bit hurt. He's going to try and swing around see what he can do. Uh, doesn't actually... I think he does a little bit of damage, but not... Uh, doesn't actually get punished very much in that. I'm surprised. Does that flash go right on Tommy there. Oh, but they're not pushing in on it. He'll probably be on flash this time and get in. Yeah, he's already ready. All right, Sasha's pushing in. Tommy's going to take him out, probably. And we see Pit. Oh, Coop falls in a pit. Josh takes out Tommy. And it's just Photon. Takes out Sachi and takes out Josh. He's going to... He's, he's pulling back. He's going to play a little bit safe. He's going to wait for them to get a little bit closer, I think, now. It's going to be a better idea. Because they've got two mops. Or you got Mop and Saber there ready to watch him. Colin and... Photon and Colin probably giving each other fucking... Or hand signals through that wall there. Knocking on it. They know the other side there. And... Colin takes out Photon there, and Argo takes er is gonna be defusing, and the round is gonna go to GB there. Damn, yeah, I mean GB with just a, a pretty great attack. I mean, yeah, as you say, they kind of wasted a bit of utility on the flash. They missed the nade, I think. Right. Or, or, or were they just nading back observation for a kill? I don't know. I, I would not know that personally. Um, but regardless. Why why were kind of just being a little bit over aggressive and they were being punished immediately. I mean, Jet, I mean, like the door blew and, and his head basically got clanked. Like it was gone the moment that door was gone. Um, and then, yeah, Ghetto just getting picked off, uh, I think by Josh, possibly. I, I can't remember really. It was, it was right at the start of the round. Um, and yeah, why why were just down the player, you know? Yeah, just, GB just and it was the player both advantage. Gone. And yeah. Uh... <laughs> Or Photon and Colin just knocking on the other side of the walls there. <laughs> <laughs> they had their they had their you know glass cups out uh, up against the wall trying to listen out for footsteps. We both were being pretty quiet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, played very dominant there, Paul. Yeah, let's see what they're. I'm also surprised so far how uh, even this. I feel like it's been like the it's a very like they take a round, we take a round, they take a round so far. I could be wrong about that, but. <laughs> Yeah, I no, think for sure it's been like. really back and forth, and there's been some rounds which are kind of surprises. You know, it's like, oh, this is like a virtual win for this team, but no, someone pulls out, this just pulls out like the ace of the ace out their sleeve or whatever, and uh, and wins the round. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, it looks like GB are thinking about checkpoint locker split. Just take that kind of map control. I mean, <laughs> yeah, kind of without a double charge, it is kind of just slog your way through the map and I try and take as much map control as you can um, without getting uh, kind of 
chip damage from the defenders, right? Mm -hmm. And without you, and without uh, wasting too much utility, because uh, I think I'll, on on maps where there's a lot of doors that you have to go through, it's really easy to kind of burn through your flashes on accident. It's like, all right, guys, who's flashing? And then like two or three people flash. You're already it's, like, it's already half utility, right? Mm -hmm. um, on the smaller maps, it's a bit easier because you know there's two rooms, so. You use half your utility on a room, but uh, on the bigger maps, you kind of got to make sure that you're only using like one per room. Mm -hmm. I'm honestly but, uh... surprised that, because uh, then that, that pit push last night, I'm sorry I'm just talking about it, but they were throwing tons of flashes through there, and I honestly figured that would screw them over, but they actually still managed to do it, weirdly. So, I don't know if they're going to be too well in these flashes here. You said those were very important here. See some shots in the pillbox there. I think their ghetto's playing a little bit safe there. That might be a good yeah. idea. After how aggressively they've been playing earlier, it doesn't seem to be working out too well right now. Well, they are going to be yeah. trying to door bang that, and Jet is going to be there with the uh, the wall, or not the wall charge, but the auto shotty. And we see, honestly, probably a good idea to throw that smoke there early, just to kind of make them better going there first. We see Cooch, I think, trying to get some shots there. We see Josh going in, he's ready. Some shots got, nothing really connecting. And oh, oh Jet and trade. John trade each other, and Akaz managed to get, get out there. Photon's going to try and run out to get Sachi. He doesn't, he doesn't see Sachi. And he gets taken out by Argo there, okay? And Kuhn, who tried to run around as well, takes out my Gonzo. It is just Tommy. And Tommy's down, and the first uh, game is gonna go to GB. Oton getting a tub moment there, dude. Ah, uh, he just did it. He saw just, uh... Oh, he's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, it was just uh, know, a lot of weirdness happening in, happening in lockers there. It was like people with their backs to each other. I think it was funny when Josh there. and Jack killed each other because there was literally no sound. <laughs> they should just both drop. <laughs> they just both drop dead. They met each other. They were like, gentlemen's agreement. We'll just let the others play. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. Again, time with that 14 kills and 1,500 damage there. Jesus. Jeez. <laughs> Argo yeah, on 10 kills at a time. Kazo on 12. Again, for almost all of uh, Yakuza had over a thousand, except for uh, Ku there. <laughs> yeah, Ku slowing down a little bit into the second half, unfortunately. Uh, YY, uh, GB on the other hand, I meant. Um, kind of evening out the damage a lot more. Uh, I, I think all of them kind of pulled their weight with, uh, with some doing uh, more than that. Mm -hmm. You know, those, yeah, those no, are really a pretty... Oh, okay, oh, we're, we're not getting a break a... here. They're just going down. again. You know what? Why not? Let's go. You know what? They're all warm. They're ready. You know why? Take five seconds to think about it. Let's go. Let's fight. You know, I like <laughs> it. I like that fire. But yeah, being a, as we said earlier, like a really back and forth game. Um, quite an exciting matchup. Really what you'd expect from, uh, from these teams. I mean, they've been practicing since last season, right? So it, it was already closed last season. You'll, you can only expect it to continue to be. Uh, a pretty close matchup. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what they're going to do this team. I wonder... what. So where do we think that Yakuza had really been missing here? Um, I think just on some of the rounds, just the coordination not being 100% there, kind of getting a little bit split up, some people getting ahead of the rest of the pack, others kind of slowing down a little bit when they when they should really be a pushing up, getting aggressive, and kind of just allowing GB on some of those rounds to uh, to kind of just rotate, take map control, and then really kind of suppress them, right? Mm -hmm. Like we saw, uh, I know, on that, that kill house with the with Sachi's wonky uh, wonky bar placement. I don't know. If, uh, maybe the viewers remember that. I don't know. But, um, I mean, then on the other hand, you know, you do have GB making a couple mistakes as well with their with their rotates, but they uh, they seem to fix that by the... Uh, by, they seem to have fixed that by the... Uh, Okay, we're taking that a one minute on. break instead. Yeah. It seems you know, with, with Sachi's using that, the bathroom. That that one minute break is gonna turn into two, which will turn into four. <laughs> we will see you back in four years. Uh that's <laughs> usually how it goes. Uh what's what do you say, Roach? Break your talk. Um I I'd say probably throw it to break and just see when the when the teams are ready. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, we'll throw it to break. We'll uh, shouldn't be too long. It'll be a pretty 
pretty okay. short break. It'll probably be like two or three minutes, and then uh, we'll get back into the exciting action between uh, currently the, the top two teams in the league, really. I mean, I think it's kind of undisputed right now. Um, I think there's some some teams that could rise to the uh, to the challenge, the but here, yeah. right now I think it, it's kind of these are the two undisputed tops. Mm-hmm. But yeah, see you in a couple minutes for uh, game two. All right, everyone, welcome back to YY versus GB. One of the top or the two top teams going at it so far. We in the series, GB has one and Yakuza has zero. We see, or, or I think there was. A seven five was the uh I think the round. But yeah. Yeah. But I'm gonna, or, but I'm active casting. I'm sick and I'm back with the uh, Rochier's color casting. Hello. Yeah. Well, I mean, last match really back and forth ended in a seven five. I mean, really, it kind of got closer. It was a a really uh hard fought match for both teams. Uh, GB coming out just on top. Um. Yeah. Really, really exciting match, but um. We'll see if uh, if YY can pull it back this match. Obviously, I'm biased, so I want to see my team win. But uh, <laughs> we'll see. Um, I wonder. Uh, can I see the the other matchup, the gnomes uh, thingy? No, I don't know. Have they? Oh, I can click on their coordination channel, see how they're doing. Yeah, there's looks a second like, match going right now. Yeah, it looks like first match between. Kwakodama and Gnomes went seven to five. Uh, gnomes they were win, gnomes which, uh, there, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay, that's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it looks like uh, we're in the game. YY versus GB game two. Westward Prometheus is the uh, first map, a dome map with uh, a pretty centralized castle there in the bottom left. Um, with the bomb raised in a really open position there. Uh, I think kind of. If you're defusing this bomb, you kind of want to just kill all the defenders first. Uh, yeah, I was about to really say that you're not really going to get the <laughs> Omni bomb. <laughs> yeah, I, I quite like this one. I, I think uh, unlike that that other dome that I said was versatile, I think this one actually is. Mm -hmm. I think there is multiple places you can go here. Uh, I don't think people. I don't think I've really seen people go pit. I think it's these these castle angles are a bit too scary as well as like uh, people being able to play back here and kind of swing on you. Mm -hmm. But I do see both jungle and beach uh, as as pretty viable, viable options. options. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the base, obviously, it's quite a long run. It's kind of kind of the no man's land, I guess. You kind of have to run across an area with like no cover. Um, but I think usually, if you're going base, you kind of just uh, come up here quickly, skip past base, and go into jungle, try and get the upper runes part. Um, it does look like GB have a saber set over there. Doesn't necessarily mean they're going there, but it means. Uh, they're thinking about um, setting a saber there. I don't know what GB are doing because they haven't placed anything on the map. <laughs> it's oh, okay. It doesn't look like they're thinking about the actually. They got a a line up and a line down. Hmm. Dude, deciphering some of these plans is is like half the fun, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, what are they gonna do? It's kind of like a mystery box almost. We're gonna see a lot of a lot of Yakuza that late spotting. <laughs> I was yeah, like, I, wait, why is it just Jedo Oku? And then, like, half the team showed up. I, I feel like I, I've rubbed off on the team a bit, because I, I always late spawn. Sometimes I know. I get my guns. But, um, yeah, more. I see more and more of my teammates uh, late spawning. But yeah, GB pushing up over, bay, over beach, already yeah. in base. Looking at Jet there, trying to take some shots, but nothing is connecting, sadly. We're going to see Argo sneaking up, trying to take as much territory he can get right there. And uh, he's actually pretty far up at this point. He's like right under Ghetto. Taking some shots on Ghetto, but nothing connecting. We are, we have all of like GP pretty much getting into that water there in jungle. A uh, flash goes out on Jet, kind of messing him up. Jet shooting at no one right now. Uh, tons of flashes in that back half, and they're just like really far in at this point. Josh managed to get around and get Jet. Photon is waiting on there. Katami taking some shots on Colin there, getting some big damage. Tommy's going to try and rotate back and try and be a little safer there. And Josh is take out Tommy, so Josh is going to try and get on a Photon there and get seen by Photon. I think that was Dustin there with that barb there. Akazo take, goes around and takes out Photon instead. And Ghetto managed to take out Akazo. Argo takes out Ku. It is just Ghetto on this. We'll see if he can do this. He does have a nice shot on there trying to take out Jet th or, or Argo there. And Sachi managed to get around to that, op or that base and take out Ghetto there. And the round does go to GB. Yeah, I mean, I think 
Really, GB there just being able to take so much map control straight off the bat, completely uncontested. I mean, they got all the way, like, all this beach, like, base and jungle area for free, literally. I mean, this this barb, pretty much useless. It it, it literally wasn't used. Um, GB kind of <laughs> just, I don't know if they walked through it or if they walked around it, but whatever it was, nobody was looking at it. I mean, um, check yeah, out a bit just... overwhelmed at that top bit there because of how far they were able to get in. Yeah, and, and he was kind of alone. I mean, I don't know if Photon was up here right away, but he could have been like looking down at the cross maybe. Um, Ghetto could have been maybe peeking a little bit earlier or something, but uh, yeah, really, I think I feel like YY just early on weren't really um, giving GB enough pressure. Um, like later in the round, they were definitely uh, pulling it back on uh, Tommy down from the south side. Had a, a bit of a crossfire there with uh, with Photon on Jet, uh, not Jet, uh, Ghetto. But yeah, I think I think really just uh, allowing GB too much map presence and, uh, and allowing them to kind of get in there and uh, get the picks they need. So yeah, moved on to Moist uh, Leopard. <laughs> Great, another one. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Why is Moist one of the words? I don't know what the, I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jesus. Looks like GB are thinking of a double charge. Uh, obviously, yeah, they did save last round, so uh, it's definitely an option for them. Um, it's going to be a very split double charge. It's kind of it's going to be one of those situations when you're this far away from each other, when both entrances are this far away from each other. It's, it's kind of one of these situations where you need both pushes to work or neither will work. Mm -hmm. um, if, if one push fails, it's kind of your, your round's over uh, a lot of the time in, in these kind of pushes because you're really banking on, on both pushes doing well. Uh, oh, looks like they're calling for a pause. Oh. I assume someone's crashed or something. <laughs> yeah, we are going to see, I think, a heavy hold there. Oh, my God. They're going to do the molly thing. They're going to stack so many mollies in that vault. We know it. Look at those mollies. We will. Uh, yeah, we're also gonna see those that those bars in the lobby is actually pretty good. That's gonna keep them there. That's a, I think that's like yeah, a really weird choke point there in lo in lobby there. Yeah, I mean it's a pretty dangerous user utility as well because uh, if they have a nade, you know, a single nade in the middle there. Um, but I think the idea is if you know you have a barb on the vault, if they if they don't save that nade for the vault. They're gonna be in a kind of rough situation with you know knowing Tommy the Molly spam coming out. So maybe the idea is you put these two barbs in lobby and like, I mean, either they made them, in which case, all right, you've, you you know, you've saved the barb on vault, so that makes vault a lot harder to push. Or they don't nade it, and then you've got this really nice um, choke point that you can defend from from lobby, from teller, from hallway. Um, so I, I actually quite like it. You know, usually kind of putting barbs together like this is is pretty terrible. But um, yeah, it looks like the, the teams are back, so we'll, we'll give it an unpause. And, uh, yeah, uh, I think, yeah, okay, GB have been kind of indecisive about it, but it, I was going to say it looks like they're going for the double charge, but, uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think they were, they were thinking about, did they have the, the charge on security there for a second? I they know. had it over here in security on the wall. You see that? Oh, okay, yeah. Right by the vault. I was like, what are they going to do with that? Oh, I think, I think they were maybe deciding, oh, maybe we go security and we'll charge out or something like that. Yeah, but I think they're going to try and do that loans and just split, which is probably going to be a better idea, honestly. You can have, there's going to be Jet with the mop there. I feel like that's, now I'm definitely saying going loans there is going to be really good because that'll, hope that it might screw over that mop there because he's going to be so close. You're going to have three over in that area, just one yeah. in vault, and Lobby's going to be pretty safe except for that right side. They could honestly go through security and kind of take out Ku because I don't think Ku can get much support that way. Yep, he's that loans blow there. You see that rotates going around, Jet's running out into the lobby to try and make sure some shots go out they're running actually they might get caught out yeah photon's gonna get stuck there and yeah. oh they actually just managed to save himself there he almost got caught out there a little bit that that uh that out. mop shot go josh takes out ghetto some flashes go out jet's trying to run in for some reason with the mop there gets taken out we see Coop get taken out by sachi and some photon run around and gets taken out by josh it is just tommy in vault they have the button they have yet to press the button they probably should just start getting those mollies out they know what's coming. He's got a lot of mollies, but I don't think it's enough. <laughs> no, he might. This is going to be pretty rough for him. And he's waiting for uh, for some utility to try and bait it. Yeah, he gets baited out by the uh, 
They walked into the barb to make the noise. Josh is just gonna go Josh? through. Oh, Josh? Josh okay. taking out my zombie. Okay, he was just. Last well, one was... out of the five, I guess. Why is Argon not throwing his nade? What are Josh they doing? Why does they. They have a nade. Use it. Hello? They're maybe trying to save it somehow. I guess I they're know. trying to save it. There's a smoke. I don't know why the smoke. Two people are low here, though. Okay. Tommy... Okay. Well, oh, I mean, they were playing that really dangerous just to save that nade. I don't hmm. know about that one. I, I like honestly, yeah, saving the nade would be all right if they weren't just trying to push through the barb with the molly. I mean, they have so much time left on the on the clock. I'm really not sure about that one. Hmm. Like, if they just wait out the mollies, maybe chuck a flash to force Tommy to throw the mollies, then uh, it's not so bad to try and save the nade. But pushing in through mollies, come on, man, through a barb, through a molly. Not sure about that. Miss, they just wrote misplay on it, so... Yeah, on, on, I think oh, on, on Jet. On Jet. Yeah, I'm not really sure what happened to Jet. If he just, uh... Maybe Ran he was with a bit of communication, there. didn't realize that the entrance had been blown as well. Or maybe he was flashed out or something like that. Oh, I'm not really sure. I wasn't really, um... Paying attention to, to him too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are going to that room go to GB. But yeah, a pretty... Decisive sweep. I mean, it was a it was a double blow, so you do kind of expect it to a certain extent. Mm. Um, but yeah, pretty nice try by Tommy. I don't think it was uh too much <laughs> up to him. It was kind of GB just throwing bodies at the situation. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, pretty uh a pretty exciting first round just because of the uh. The kind of chaos, I guess. <laughs> it was really, it was a bit strange there, but hopefully we'll see some things. Couple on weird situations. Ice Star here. I like that name. Yeah, Ice Star. Yeah, I've seen this one com complained about in the uh, in the map issues because I assume before Omni Bomb, the kind of bomb face was just up here, so you couldn't like just get back here. But now people are like, oh, we can just blow storefront, and get behind here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I haven't really seen that happen in like a scrim or anything like that. I think teams generally do try to take more map control than just get on the bomb and defuse because maybe in casuals, people don't pay attention to the bomb as much. But I feel like in a in a proper game, you kind of chuck a molly there. They get they, they have to get off the bomb and then defenders come in, try and get some picks. But regardless, it does look like GB are looking at the uh, the storefront blow. I think they're worried about someone sat in this corner back here, which could be pretty rough because it is a, a little bit difficult to flash out. Mm -hmm. I think they're worried uh, about I'm some knack wall bangs there. It's not too bad. It's not. I'm not worried. sure about spending a nade on over there. <laughs> I, love I guess how I mean, they, they were it. with the nade last time. Now they're they just like, ah, they saved it from last round. Left. I guess you know what? <laughs> they saved it from last round. I guess you know what? They'll use one for a barb and one for maybe a kill. Mm -hmm. Fair enough, you know what? And also, it's like both of them for a kill because that black fridge is there's no real reason for them to push that back fridge if they just get in that storefront. Uh, because the biggest they're honestly their biggest worry is that bathroom and that teller. Because if you get a bathroom with a knack there, yeah, they're the photons there with the knack, <laughs> so yeah, that's probably their biggest worry. I'm gonna try and put a barb on that. That's a good, that's an okay barb. Yeah, now they're moving the now they're moving the nade on there. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like they can see the enemy barb placement. What the hell? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. Check their kit soon. So that, that was the most perfect timing I've ever seen. He, he, he moves the barb over there, and the nade gets moved as well. <laughs> that smoke go out. I don't. I don't know what the point. Oh, in case they were doing a um... maybe for a storefront open or something. Yeah. Yeah. So Ghetto was gonna be there with the with the auto shotty ready. Yeah, okay, Josh with the DL though. We'll see who wins this. Turns out lots oh, of firing. Uh, Jack getting a Josh little bit of misses Ghetto. Oh, does he really? Oh, wow. Ghetto oh, full blind. Is... Next... Oh, full oh, blind. Oh, no. He's so blind. Oh, I... no. I'm surprised. Hold on. Okay, damn. But yeah, Kazuga, oh, Ghetto, Sajid, Colin goes for Jet. See another Molly. That's going to keep Garga. Oh, that's going to actually <laughs> lock Garga out there. Josh is in Tellers. Josh sneaks Coop. past Coop. Colin. Coop's going to try and run around and take out Josh. Josh takes out Coop. It is just Tommy with a knack. He's gonna take some shots on Akazo. All of them are pretty hurt, but Argo takes a Tommy, and the round goes to GB. What happened there with Ghetto? Dude, what is going on, man? Look, Josh comes over here, turns around, walks past Ghetto. I think Colin comes in, walks past Ghetto. Ghetto's like, oh shit, there's people around me. Starts shooting, and <laughs> people are confused. And then later in the round, Josh runs up here through Teller, completely misses Coop, who's just standing here in the open. But Coop also completely misses him <laughs> until he's in Teller. I don't know what's happening.
I feel like has the game They're like playing in two different dimensions and just happen to cross paths every now and then. Has the game added short sightedness or something? Do they, do they need glasses? Like, what the uh, hell? They... <laughs> What's going on? This game is sponsored by Spec Holy Savers. Josh was left on like one HP as well. He's like a sliver of a HP bar. Jesus, that was. <laughs> that was that was crazy. Gotta make sure they get the proper eyewear next time or something. That was. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, back on the dome, Westward Prometheus, uh, into the second set of the game. Yeah, last time we saw GB push uh, Beach and Base on, on just an eco push, but um, yeah, YY just weren't really holding the barb that they had set up here, and they were just giving GB a little bit too much map presence that GB could just kind of walk up and, and really just get like a really good foothold in the map so early on. Um, it's looking like YY are thinking on, uh, on using a, a smoke over here to block off that. Uh, it looks like they'll probably be pushing up ruins. Uh, it looks like they're worried about a, uh, a defender that could open the door and kind of get some fire in onto, uh, onto base. It's not a bad play, honestly, they did it. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think you can kind of see into pit there, so that's not too much of a worry. You can see into pit from, from beach, uh, through the windows. Mm-hmm. What's Argo spelling out here? Misplay? Uh, not really sure what he's what he's meaning by that one, but um, oh, is he, I guess he's playing there and he's he's calling it a misplay. <laughs> Maybe he's meaning a bit or something. I, I don't know what's going on. Not entirely sure. Uh, we'll, we'll see what they do here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna see Argo. I think is probably gonna play this a little bit aggressive there, or maybe not. Nope, I completely lied. He ran the other way. <laughs> that's honestly that. Honestly, that's not a bad place to play because that's where um, that's where they all were able to stack up on that rock there. So having someone who could just swing it with a KR is not bad. They're gonna be moving into that beach. They're pretty sure. Josh hiding up there with the jungle with a shotgun. I just noticed it. <laughs> He's ready for that. A little rat in the uh, in the grass with a tub waiting, waiting for them to, to run past so he can jump out. So flashes go out. Yo, guys are playing this really safe. Jet's trying yeah, to peek over with a uh, saber there's gonna work. Oh, takes out Shanti. Nice shot. Akos takes a shot. Doesn't hit anyone, sadly. We're gonna see a smoke out there. That's a good smoke. It's gonna keep Akazo or not there. And Josh is gonna move in. Take Josh, out, take out Koo. Okay. Tommy managed to take out Argo there. there. Oh, yeah. They're rough. All right, yeah. Uh, Fosamon just take out Colin there as well. We see uh, Akazo is trying to see when he gets done. It is just Akazo, and he gets Chase shot from like three places, <laughs> three different places. Jesus. And round goes to Yakuza. Damn. Yeah. I mean, it was a. Uh... Yeah, just those early picks really uh, put the round in the favor of of YY. Once they got those early picks, it was just really hard to hold the uh, the map control for GB. But I think I definitely prefer their 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 defense in, in trying to hold some early presence. It was just they were kind of getting dull. Mm -hmm. I just I just like Josh running around, just like ah, tub, why not? Just takes out Q. <laughs> I'm surprised how well it worked. It was unfortunate with the nade that came out. I think they just like pre naded that for a. Uh, for a barb up there, but Josh was hiding behind cover right next to it, unfortunately. Land dead I wonder how much more he could have done if it wasn't for that. I wonder. It would be kind of funny, because he probably would have been able to rotate through jungle and just keep them just scared of that jungle there. But Yeah. Wow. I was surprised he managed to get the kill one. Oh yeah, they do have... So yeah, we're going to see Yakuza with both Saber and Mop together. Yeah, on the first round. <laughs> Yeah, that is the danger of bringing them up on the first round, is you, you risk giving it to the uh, the attackers. I mean, same with, same with Saber, really, although it's a bit safer with Saber, because uh, you can kind of sit it up on beach or, or like, outside the map kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, back to uh, our second favorite map after uh, Moist Leopard. Moist Hole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, what is this bar being marked out here? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's okay. <laughs> uh, I think I think they just had it there while they were like thinking. I was about They've... to say, I'm like, come on, there's not something on that desk that you can do, is there? Please. <laughs> they put the barb outside. Um. Okay, I think they just, just gonna... marked it. Yeah, I guess they're gonna kick the red door 
place the barb outside, risk getting zapped by the UAV. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you kind of like it, you know, I, I like it a lot. Actually, it's pretty fun. Okay, now they're gonna be a little bit safer with it and place it. I'm, okay, I like that more. I'm kind of like, you know what? Last time they were kind of risking a haircut from the UAV. Uh, this time, you know, there's no risk of placing that barb. Yeah, no, I, I like that. I, I think these um these bank red doors tend to be really rough just because of the the walkway you have to you have to walk up onto them. It's kind of like you you can prepare all you want, but to get in, you kind of have to come through this like really narrow corridor just to get into the door, which is really rough. Mm -hmm. It gives plenty of time for the defenders to molly it, and especially if there's a barbed wire there. I mean, gosh. <laughs> but it looks like YY doing a three-two split. Uh, entrance and and uh, and loans. They saw how well it worked for uh, GB, and they're just hoping to do it. Uh, hopefully, just as well. On we're, their side. we're only seeing two barbs from uh, GB, and we don't even know where the next one's going to be placed. Although they do have, I think they're holding. Wait, no, I think they are just holding two barbs. Does this Josh have a barb? Uh, no, so no, they're not going to think so. They're going to be kick barbing that. Oh, oh, uh, oh, okay. Josh kicks the door and gets Jeez. big damage on the coup, almost killing him. Damn. Now he's that barb go down. All right, That's now I see what they're doing. Damage. Oh, I see. They, they just flopped that barb in the lobby there. They chucked a molly out a lobby as well, man. Crap. Damn, they're they're just... They don't even want them in the building. Yeah. Jeez. God, that basically... I mean, it doesn't kill coup, but it might as well at that point. There's no way he's going to have that confidence to push through as much as he usually does. And we're going to see... Tommy trying to see if he can get some shots. Oh, Tommy, Tommy taken out by Josh. That is that lone push almost decimated. You see Jet take out Photon. Oh no. You see Jet take out Josh. Argo takes out Ghetto. Oh, it is just Ku and Jet. Oh, Huge. that is. Both low HP. Oh, hey, Jet taking out Argo. Yeah, I think Jet's, it a little bit. Jet's gonna try and take some picks, but. Man, oh. even just one stray bullet through a wall even would kill either of them. Oh, Jet's like got no HP now. Holy crap. A hard <laughs> stare would money. drop them dead. I think they're just going to save. I think that's in their Look best Look out bet. for the Lego bricks. You might die. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, his shoe his shoes untied. He might fall. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, yeah. Ku and Jet are just going to save. Makes sense. They got Saber and a door and, ch or a door and Clacker there, so... Definitely gonna be a better idea for the save there. Jeez, GB not willing to even let them get in. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I I think I've seen GB do this quite a few times on bank where they they open the door and run out or shoot out and stuff like that. I think just here they've shown damn they're they're really uh really looking for those kind of strats. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, just the really early damage. Barbing the door and then obviously yeah I think it's pretty smart to, to play behind that lone's desk because it's uh the outside the bank is is kind of lower down so it's even more of a headshot angle even more of a pixel peak behind the lower lone's desk mm -hmm. um and then yeah the unfortunate TK on the on the entrance push and yeah it kind of just got shut down because of because of those reasons it's just like a, 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 a you know a generally small mistake with decently a decent impact on the round kind of thing a team kill you know they happen sometimes it's it's rough to avoid them sometimes um and it's kind of just a it, it can be a small mistake that causes them like a, a misclick or, or you know maybe a misthrown nade or something like that but uh they're, they're they can be really killers around the amount of times i've played casuals where i try and go in through a room and i think i hear a flash and a nade lands next oh, to me no. <laughs> and i'm like why and then i just gone <laughs> happens a bit oh gosh okay back on the c store ice star um yeah last time this was mayhem this was chaos people really i don't know i think they needed to go to the store down the street that sells glasses you know what i think they, <laughs> they went they went to the, they were so blind they went to the wrong store <gasps> They're um, at the pharmacy, not the not the C store. <laughs> <laughs> so, a, oh, five bar bars. Okay. I don't think they've used much. I think they actually have five. They can just drop and go for it. All right. Yeah, they used two last round, so he's like won the first round. So, jeez, Jeez. yeah. 
You can see okay. auto shoddy coming out here. Probably in that bathroom, if I had to suspect. Um, I mean, so far in both rounds, I mean, last time they kick barbed the, one of the red doors YY wanted to go to. Again, it looks like they're going to be kick barbing a door that YY want to go to. So, oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> just oh, they as just I said it, it immediately. They moved the barbed wire. Oh my god, come on, guys. They're, they're, they're playing, they're doing mix ups on us. <laughs> Dude, they had the master plan, and then they they, they second guess themselves. They might be. Uh, I mean, yeah. why might be expecting a little bit of it now, so I might be a bit careful. But we don't actually. Does why we even have any nades left? Uh, they've not used one yet. No, they used one. They're not bringing. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look like they have a nade because they're not bringing one. Yeah, they didn't bring one last Unless one either. It's in the hmm. But uh, yeah, I, I think uh, regardless of if they uh. Of if they kick barbit, they've still got they're really set up for a bathroom push there with those two barbed wires and, and Josh on the auto shotgun with Argo there to back him up. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see Colin Akaza over that storage this isn't really gonna get much play there. They're probably gonna rotate out. Oh, God. actually, yeah, they're already starting to rotate into freezer area, trying to see what they can do there. Uh, we see the charges go out, simul uh, clacking it. We see that Molly go out, and that's big damage. Argo managed to kill both. Photon and Ghetto up that uh, Molly, just that oh, aisle oh, of death Tom, there. Man. Oh yeah, uh, Tommy managed to get Josh there. We see Coop trying to go in and get, takes out Argo. Actually, in revenge is pretty good. Tommy trying to get some, or no, oh, Jen right. trying to get some auto, or some saber kills, but I don't think anything's connecting. Sadly, see, he sees he Colin like at least. Right. That splash go in. Molly's gonna keep it to where just Tommy's in alone. Kazo sees Tommy trying to get some shots on him. Does a little bit of damage, but Kazo does get some damage back. Sachi trying to take out uh, Coop, who's picked up the auto shot. He run it, taking out Sachi. Tommy might say, oh, Colin, it is just a Kazo versus these three. This is not looking good for a Kazo here. Yeah. yeah why, why? I managed to pull this back I'm a lot really better than I expected. really bad start, there. but uh, Kazo's sneaking up. With a bit of teamwork, up. a bit of wall bangs, they really managed to pull back. Yeah. Yeah, why would I actually take this round? Damn. Yeah, I, I thought after that really bad start on bathroom where they... they they miscalculated, they pushed through, weren't expecting the barb to be there. Um, got two people killed, but uh, no. Uh, Tommy with a nice wall bang into bathroom on, on the kind of, I think expecting someone to be running out of the uh, of the green door. And then Coop pushing in after it with a flashbang getting Argo. Yeah, just the, that equalized the round. And then after that, they were able to uh, to pull it back. That, that, that seemed like a kind of impossible round to win after that rough start, but uh, well done. Moving All right, to... so a 4-2 half, not as bad as a 5-1. I, I, I thought it would be after seeing the start of that round, but uh, yeah, damn, yeah. All right, so moving into a new half, we got the uh, the kill house Odin Mamba. <laughs> Someone's drawing a uh, dismembered guy, I guess. <laughs> Bit grim. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? The what are they writing? Uh, I don't know what they're writing. Whatever, they're having they're having some fun. They're having some art projects here from YY. Makes sense. They got photos on there. They're writing "Hello Roach." Hey, <laughs> they know you're casting. <laughs> but yeah, no, it looks like uh, GB thinking about a brick house play. You know what? I really don't see a brick house, brick house blow uh, very often. It's usually a hallway blow on this one. Um, sometimes a reception split, kind of take office, split office with a uh, hallway, and then uh, just push up this long hallway into kitchen. But um, are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? No. Are you Mop seeing that mop Mop's sitting in reception? reception? Yeah. <laughs> Looking down here, I will assume that a smoke is going to be thrown over here to uh, to block off that mop. Oh, did I say that GB were planning on going brick house? I mean, why? Yes, why? Did. I, I think I saw the the Molly by uh by Sachi and and, and assumed that it was the the door charge. I oh, know you're fine. Yeah, I'm excited to see. I wonder. I'm actually kind of interested to see if they if uh, Yakuza is going to be ready for that uh that reception. I don't think they're actually going reception though. Yeah, so. I don't think they go in there. I mean, if they were, I, I would assume they would throw a smoke like that. But uh. The pillbox could be dangerous, but nobody's playing there. Maybe Sachi will run over there. Nah. No, Sachi's ready with that molly. Yeah, no one in pillbox. I'm kind of surprised. Dude. It's kind of. Weird. Yeah, they had it marked down. Molly, and then nothing. All right, we're.
we're just we're just waiting on them here. I think Jet's got a flash ready to count. I think that's man, trying to throw the kill off there. Some big shots out. Sasha taking a little bit of damage. Tommy taking a minuscule amount of damage. Oh, in. Right. Tommy is in. Tommy is in. We some flashes go out. That's gonna uh, ruin. Colin. Oh, Colin actually still alive. Okay. Josh is gonna run into pillbox there. Into See what we can do, Tommy takes out Colin. Josh is in that pillbox. The Kazo manages to get a mob shot. And Tommy takes him out. Ghetto takes out Josh. It is. Just Sachi got Kazo and Argo versus these four here. Sachi really hurt. They're gonna try and get into that, that kitchen. There are lots of shots. Jet takes out Sachi with a, I think a wall bang there. Ghetto and Jet are in. Kazo managed to take out Ghetto and Jet's gone as well. It's just Ku and uh, Photon versus Kazo with that mop. I don't know if he can really see Ku there. That's gonna be very difficult for him. Uh, lots of shots so that they know where Kazo is, and that's the biggest problem. Uh, Kazo sneaking around, see what he can do. Sees Photon but gets taken out. And actually, he did actually hit Photon, just didn't get that headshot that he really oh, needed. Yeah. As I see, and the round will go to YY. They're going to bring this back, it seems. Yeah, a very close round, actually. Uh, I think the, the molly straight off the bat was a little bit late, allowed Tommy to get in. Uh, but he didn't manage to get a huge amount. Uh, a flash did come in, a really nice flash to blind Colin. Um, but Tommy kind of fell off with him. Josh managed to sneak back into the pillbox, but just as he went up to peak, a flashbang landed in there. Uh, and I think Ghetto ran in. Ghetto's the, ran in and shotgunned him. Yeah. Uh, the flashes were, were pretty well timed there, actually. I really I'm think proud, proud GB maybe was a little bit too uh, too much on that reception there. And no, having no one in pillbox to start there is so rough. Honestly, I figured we'd see the mop in there. Uh, but now we had a reception. And yeah, that was just... I think they should have just played that pillbox a little bit more and played actually in Brick House a little bit more. Be a little ready for it, but the fact they had to like have three all go, oh no, they're not there, they're not there, and run all the way to the other way just ended up with the two who were in Brick House just getting caught out. Yeah, and then on top of that, like when they did rotate to Brick House, they kind of over aggressed on it because uh, YY used a lot of flashes on that Brick House. They only had one flash left when they were actually pushing onto the bomb. Mm -hmm. So they used most of their flashes on Brick House, and I mean, it paid off because GB were in Brick House. So. Mm -hmm. I think if, if GB had been able to fall back a bit there, they would have been able to waste some of the utility and, and just keep the keep the manpower kind of thing. Yeah. But uh, yeah. moving on to Forge Rook, um, uh, looking like a, a dot blow coming out from uh, YY here, Yakuza. I actually haven't seen a dot blow on this. I don't think. It, usually, it's like a fan with with maybe a server farm split if you got a nade. Uh, just because that fan is pretty powerful. Uh, you kind of chuck a flashback there, you get some control, maybe a smoke over here or something. But the dock is definitely a, uh, a switch up, which um, might be something YY need. Uh, I think it was something we saw, wait, you know, like, kind of need to to make some of those uh, some of those switch ups where you're not going for the complete meta plan so that you're not being um, just like hard predicted every round. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll see how this works out for them. Looks like they're going to get a couple smokes down. Uh, try and take some dock presence, try and get into that conveyors. I think that conveyors will be a, a pretty strong place to take control of because generally it is a nice place to hold from. But yeah, the office on this map is pretty important. So you've got like nice sight lines onto the bomb. They are going to be going for uh, power here. Really? Are they bringing night vision? Yeah, I just, I was like, I saw someone put a flare down. I'm like, are they going to go power? And I just went through and saw they have night vision. So yeah, they are going to be going power here, I think. Interesting. Yeah, I guess they'll take conveyors to take night vision. This is some cheeky shots at the start. Uh, yeah. Kazo, you know, a little bit of damage actually for them, which is kind of a kind of sad for Akazo there. Uh, Ghetto taking a little bit of damage. Oh, Akazo Ooh, kills both on. Big damage on Ku and big damage on Ghetto there. Oh, damn. Okay, okay, okay. Tommy taking some shots. Uh, Tommy takes out Sachi, but Akazo takes out Tommy. Koop takes out Akazo. It is Josh watching from that, that dock there. Colin is hearing that it's action. He's going to start moving in. Argo, I think, is also rotating over. Does that smoke go out? That door is open. They're ready. Josh trying to get some shots. Uh, Ku does take out Ku. It is just Ghetto and Jet there. Jet's going to try and watch there. And Argo takes out Ghetto. And Colin takes out Jet. They, they barely even got in the building. And the round goes yeah. to GB. Um, that uh, is... Man, I was actually quite excited to see that push on the conveyors, man. I was so excited to see how it would work. They had the, the lights and everything for it. The, the night vision. Nah. GB are like, nah, you don't get to see that shit. We're going to open up. Deal it absolute boatload of damage uh, right off the bat and really just i think they just kept it open the entire round they were kind of just not allowing yy to really uh i closed it like uh, once and then just reopened it to be like nah 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 <laughs> yeah you thought we were closing it and giving you a chance uh, uh, uh. no 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 
This is our building. We ain't we, we ain't even gonna let you set foot in it. But yeah, no, I, I think that is definitely something to to look out for uh with teams like GB. They they do like those openings. I think uh I think probably the only other super aggressive team would be like L C G, from what I know. Um uh -huh. L C G like their aggressive plays as well. Oh, don't I remember. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, and you can really get caught out by them if uh if um if you're not prepared for them. Like you really need to have people looking at those angles, making sure that you're not uh you know, like if you're walking past Doc, just have someone looking at Doc. It's not too hard. Um, back just on in case, just in case this had to open. But yeah, we were back on Twilight Dragoon. We had this in the first map or first round, didn't we? Or the first game? Or am I wrong? Yeah, we did. It's the linear map, dude. Why? Yeah, I, was, I just <laughs> saw that bar back where Josh played. I'm like, why is that? Why is that one there? <laughs> <laughs> but so yeah. Um, I guess the teams are just going to do the same thing they did last time. Um, why not? Why not? I mean, looks like GB. I mean, five barbs. What the hell? They're not using five, are they? One, yeah, two, well, three. South, no, they four. are using five. Okay, okay. Not That's north. weird. And that uh, that obs barb is so weird. I don't like it. It, it didn't really work is. last time. They're doing it again. And oh, they moved it now. Hmm. Eh? I don't, okay, I don't know. He's playing with an auto doing. shotgun. I'm not sure. I don't think he was, was he playing with an auto shotgun last time? I don't think so, no. So he's going to try and rectify it with an auto shotgun. Maybe that'll make it work this time. But it I'm still. Back back a, a bit further, maybe, just so it doesn't get blown up. So. Uh, that bar. Uh, I mean, that's still going to blow up by one. One nade. Yeah, this is not the great. I don't like those barbs. Honestly, just use a molly. <laughs> kind of right. Oh, Josh is. Yeah, he's going to. He's, he's he's indecisive a little bit where he wants to. Oh, he gave he gave a cause. It was Molly. That makes sense. Okay, they got the charge with now. The here, though. Get him with double nade. Oh boy, that's interesting. Uh, some shots go through. Nothing connecting. Josh trying to get cheeky with that uh, oh, that LS there. Nade. <laughs> that Molly, another Molly. It's gonna keep Josh locked in there for a bit. Coding the floor of observation with the uh, with the Molly. The the nade only gets one barb though. That's not going to work out. And Jet takes out Josh, but Photon really hurt. Just going to have to run in there. Just takes a little bit of damage from Kazo there. And Photon is definitely worse for wear. Tommy's going around. Takes out already. Kazo. Takes out T Colin, too. Okay. Flash is Who going out. Who needs teammates when you can just kill them all? And Sachi takes out, uh, Sachi takes out Tommy, but Ghetto takes out Sachi. I think Gargo's going to try and flank here, see what he can do. But it's not looking good for him. They, do, they are really damaged, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. He's already on bomb. He needs to move in now. I see some shots through, but I think he's going to... No, I think he's going to try and just see if he can get anyone. Takes out Ghetto and Jet takes him out. The auto shot, he long range, and the round goes to the Yakuza here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... I don't even know what to say, man. Tommy just walked in. One man army did it. Like, I mean, I would have expected him to wait a little bit longer for his teammates to be pushing as well, but... I mean, it worked out. They GB weren't expecting it. They got caught out. Two people got killed. Um, and then, yeah, YY just uh, capitalized on that early uh, early picks by Tommy and just pushed in, took control of Pit, and that was basically round over. Argo uh -huh. at the end trying to salvage something. Saw, saw uh, YY pushing him and uh, kind of backed up a bit, knowing that the auto shotgun was there, but it, it wasn't enough, unfortunately. I don't think GB's very good at defending the map, but they can definitely attack it. So they can get these... They only got like, I think they have to win these next three, don't they? To get a win. Uh, yeah, uh, GB just, yeah, they only need to win two more rounds. I mean, one more round and they oh, secure a tie. So if they can, I mean, they, we've definitely seen that they can win that uh, that dome map. So they can, uh, they'll probably, if they can win that, that's at least one thing. And they can just do whatever they want for these next two. Yeah, so YY, uh, I think that's a reactive barb on site. They got one barb up in office. Uh, one circled in hallway for some reason. Not entirely sure why. I don't. Maybe reactive uh, or something. Yeah, it looks like uh, GB are going for the more meta hall push. On this map. Hall push with the split and reception, like I mentioned last time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, I like this play. I think it's a, a great one. It gives you this uh, this really nice wing window into a uh, into kitchen. Uh, there's even like a tiny angle here, which uh, someone on, on the attack just marked out actually. Um, I thought that was you drawing that. <laughs> <laughs> I was drawing it for a second, but they got to it before me. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I just really like this. Really important to get a smoke down really early on. Just like chuck it there, just so you can get up to reception without getting mulked. Um, but other than that, I mean, I think um, a big thing I've seen that that works well for teams is if you just really monkey push this whole way. Just really, really quickly, you can get back here before the defenders expect it and they can't get their mollies off and stuff like that. Um, that's one thing that's that's unfortunately worked on me a couple times and I hate it. But, uh... Okay, it looks like they're... We have the uh, reception there. Yeah. Okay, I, I don't think they uh, they have a mult, do they? So, it looks nah. like they were just swinging it. <laughs> Forget it. Who needs smoke? Can just kill him. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, they do have a mult. This is, a. Uh... This is uh, round reset. So oh yeah. Oh, interesting. See Josh take out Jet there. Some big damage, I think, from uh, Ghetto onto them. Uh, took out a big, a little bit of damage on uh, Josh Argo there. Dude, yeah. What I said, just monkey pushing that whole way, and they're already up. The Ghetto oh, running yeah. through. Oh wow. Okay. That's gonna take out their back half there. It is just Argo calling on that one push, and Sasha's gonna have to go around. That was a. Uh, what was it? Ghetto took out Josh and uh, Akazo took out Ghetto, but Photon managed to get Akazo there. And we're seeing uh, just some wall bangs here and there. Ku's a little bit hurt. Uh, Sachi trying to go around, takes a big damage on Photon. Doesn't actually take that much damage himself either. Uh, Argo just going in. That Molly went out and he's just own. going in. He's taking some Dude, shots. Tommy, to Tommy's worth it now. Oh, Tommy is uh, literally a breath away. And Tommy kills Ku on his own team by accident. Oh, wait, that's the. Wolf back into him while shooting. Argo giving the signal to Sachi and Colin, hey, get in here, we got this, we got this. And then Photon's gonna try and I think use that window there. They better be watching it, but I don't think they are. Oh, Photon trying to take some shots. I don't think, I think maybe a little bit of connect. Tommy trying to also get some shots on that window, not enough. And she needs to start defusing at this point. Oh, Argo's just running in, he said, screw it. Kill Tommy, take out Tommy, they get to defuse now. It's just Photon, if he can pull this back. And Argo's gonna run around with the KR and take out Ooh. Photon. And we'll go to GB. So this is a guaranteed at least tie for GB. Yeah, I mean, as I said in the planning phase, you kind of just monkey push that hallway, get yourself a really good foothold in right next to the kitchen, nade that barb, and then, I mean, GB, you know, those, those two picks on Josh and Akazo really hurt them, and they ended up kind of splitting up a lot, but Argo was like, all right, you know what, I I'm going to go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take from... Uh... Uh, I'm going to take from Tommy, I'm going to say, you know, who needs teammates, pushes in, takes the site alone. Like, the, the, the defenders just give it to him. Like, he just walks in, controls sight, and that was, that was kind of the win of the round, really. It was the, that was the play of the round. That, the, yeah. He saw they lost two and figured we need a hero play and just went for it. Dude, he, he just ran in, and the moment he secured the sight, he was like, guys, I have sight. And they all rotated over. They were on sight in <laughs> seconds. And uh, and yeah, YY just couldn't do anything after that. Um, we're going to see this factory. I, want, I honestly, I want to see if maybe YY will give him a little bit of taste on medicine here. We play a little bit aggressive on something here. That would be uh, that would be pretty fun. Um, I don't think it's really something they usually do. Mm -hmm. I mean, we re we we usually do. <laughs> but uh, I mean, possibly. I think we've done it a few times. Um, okay. Yeah. Looks like they're they're they got a molly ready for the uh for the dot push. Um, got some barbs set up back here. Because uh, generally on this map, you hit fan, clear office from the pipeworks, and then like push under here to uh, to get some shots off onto conveyors. So the the barbs kind of just stop that a bit, I guess. Uh, I don't know if those barbs there are really gonna do too much. Yeah, it... personally, I feel like this map is so rough to defend because it's kind of like there isn't really like you can have a guy up in pipeworks, like back here, to hold the fan, but he can get flashed out pretty easily. And then, like, around the center of Pipeworks, it's, it's really not great to hold from. So generally, you're kind of holding from, like, Dock and, like, Office and maybe back of Pipeworks. And it's like, it just doesn't feel like you can support your teammates very well on this map. Mm -hmm. Like, with the crossfires and stuff. It, I, I find it's just really difficult to get good positioning on this map. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to see Jet on the map. I was like, I was hoping we see a mop soon because I feel like we're going to need some mop plays here. So I haven't really seen this kind of bar placement around the bomb here, but it does look like they want to just maybe secure this left side of the pipeworks. Um, There's not many people watching. But I think GB are, are looking to do 
It's not, uh, yeah, it's a pretty sure it's a wall charge on the dock and they're gonna blow down as well. It's that Molly oh, down immediately. immediately. Wow. See, Jet See taking a shot, misses. That Molly was flying before the thing even exploded. I think they heard it, so it's like, yeah, why not? Charge go out. Oh, Jet takes some big damage. Ghetto takes some big damage. And the bomb goes out. We see Ghetto or Colin gets taken out by Ghetto. Uh, Coop is also really hurt. Ghetto is a breath away from death. Argo takes out Jet. Argo takes out Ghetto. Tommy takes out Argo. We see Boats on hiding in that dock there. Maybe he can try and get a rat play on one of them. He's. Uh, I don't think any of them know he's really there. We see Tommy and Sachi trading some blows, but nothing is really connecting. We see Koo, I think, gonna try and see if he can get Josh. Photon managed to take out Sachi, actually, and oh, trades with Josh there. Oh, that is big. It is just a Kozo there with the uh, with the saber. Maybe he can do this. He does have a saber, so that's nice. And both of his team, or both the other team, are really hurt. He has tons of time. He just needs to play this safe if he can. He, if honestly, if he can get that power, that wouldn't be a bad idea for him. I think that's what they've circled there. Yeah. Just try and watch. Yeah, him. like both defenders, as you said, really low HP. Just one shot from a Kazu here on on either of them. They're dead. I mean, he's actually in a pretty decent position here. Like. Looks like Koopa's looking to maybe turn back on the power. Probably yeah, waiting if... Uh, Tommy also has the molly available. So, yeah, it, Kazu's probably going to sit on this side of the bomb. Molly might be able... Molly might be able... Tommy might be able to molly him. And uh, Akazu might molly get... Molly Tommy. Carbs. See, Akazu taking some big damage from Koo there. Tommy thinks he's just going to just go for it. And, yep, nice. Tommy takes out Kazu. The round goes to uh, Yoku's there, actually. Whew, a close one, yeah. It was um, honestly I... Botan getting that trade there at the uh, there really set the round I think for Yokozu's favor. Yeah, no, I think the um honestly they they played that defense better than than we've ever played them in scrims. I feel I think that was a pretty <laughs> uh, smart decision. I I, I kind of like that that bar placement. It did mean that it was kind of hard to hold the guy if he just sat on that bomb. Um, if they can, you know, if the if the attackers secure the right side of that. Um, pipe works and, and you sit one guy on the bomb it's like defenders kind of have to push it or molly it i guess but um yeah, yeah just the, the attack were a bit afraid to do that we got tommy at 12 kills and i think that was uh oh god i think it was a Kazo maybe at 10. <laughs> they've got i mean they're doing a lot I of good damage on on i go on 13. Damn. oh boy <laughs> yeah definitely uh Definitely both teams uh, got some star players in this game, really pulling, uh, really pulling their weight and uh, stepping up to the uh, to the challenge. So yeah, back on um, linear dragoon, <laughs> and uh, I wonder what the blow will be. Yeah, Maybe I wonder. A jungle, huh? Wait, do uh, <laughs> hang on a second. Just do they not have a charge? I don't know. Because if they, they don't, because I, I made the joke charge, of like, right? I think they, they did. Do they did do double charge last round. They do the hallway first. They don't have a really, yeah, charge. You're right. That's actually really bad for them because they really took that observation hard and was really good last, uh, that first time. I was like, oh, okay, they'll win this round if they get to the factory. But now that they, or not the factory, to do but now that they've lost all those charges, they're going to have to go jungle. And we see Jet's already going to try and play aggressive there. They know where they're going. Yeah. This, this might not be in their here, favor. So strong. You've got just down here. It's almost impossible to flash out. I mean, yeah, you can get a flash here, but he just walks back, walks back. He's he's unblind. Yeah, he's he's not blind at all. Um. Honestly, in this situation, I wouldn't be playing aggressive base at all. I'd be like, guys, just just back up, please. Play behind the barbs and shit. We have three in base. Yeah. Oh. Come on, guys. Why? I think it might be getting so they might be they might they're they're risking it for some reason. Oh, that Molly go out perfect. big Molly. damage on Josh there. We Josh see a mob shot go up, but I don't think it hits anyone. It's just Josh alone. We see a flash go out. Josh in oh Josh uh, getting out cool. Okay, okay. Maybe Josh alone isn't the worst thing. We see I don't think he sees ghetto yet. No, ghetto's gonna rotate out. He's playing that smart. And that wasn't that bad of a trade there, considering Josh isn't even dead. Boss yeah. to take it out. And oh, I think we see a mop shot from um, from Jet there. I don't know if it really connected, but Ghetto yeah, is taking Argo. Argo. Argo? Argo. Okay, so that's how it's able to get, uh, Ghetto was able to get him. So now uh, this isn't too bad there. For be looking for the power. Get the smoke down. Well, mop shots. Ghetto trying to see what he can get in. They're running up there, and Akaza was taken out by Photon. There we see Photon up in there. Sachi's gonna go try and take him out there. 
And oh, Sachi gets taken out by Photon. Okay, this is not this is not looking good for GB here. It is just yeah. Josh left versus four people, which I mean, he was able to get that one bit before, but oh, I think they just got caught from too many angles. They didn't take out Photon there, and I feel like that that little rat is gonna it's gonna really hurt them here. So I think this I predict this round to go to uh, Yakuza here. See what Josh can do. He's gonna run out of time any second. Yeah, he was sneaking up, but he's he's just looking for the picks. He knows where Ghetto is. Hoping he can find some picks here. Jet, Jet pushing up, up really aggressively. He's gonna get caught out here. He's trying to turn on the lights. Jet shot in the back there. Oh, uh, and Ghetto takes it with Josh, and the second game is a tie. Which yeah, with, with without that Yakuza. charge there, that is just that is just really difficult. I mean, you could see GB were like, nah, that pit, uh-uh. That ain't the play. It's just you have to go around two like 90 degree corner angles that are just like impossible to flash out. That ain't the play. So they they just they were hoping for the you know the if you had to charge it would be the worst push, but without a charge it's kind of the better push. Go take lights, try and push from jungle, even though it's rough, it's kind of, it's better than pit. So I definitely agree with the plan. It was just yeah, it was too difficult. Why I had a decent hold. Yeah, so that's uh that's a tie between them and and GB also having their own round. So is that GB win this series? Uh, yeah, GB GB win the series, but uh, it, it, it's not really a series. You get points based on if you win, lose, or tie. So they'll get three points. Why will get one? Okay. <laughs> yeah, a solid showing from both teams there. Honestly, yeah, I full twenty four rounds played. Hell oh yeah! God, I'm really back and forth as well. I mean, there there wasn't really any period of time where there was like three rounds one in a row. I don't I don't think we saw it that those games. Mm -hmm. like, they were really back and forth. Both teams really giving it their all. We just see some dominant players there and really showing up. And God, I mean, we just, I think from that, we can see why these are the two best teams in the league currently. Some of those plays. I still love, God, that factory that was, that I think you said was very hard to defend. And they just opened the door and just lit up Yakuza. And Yakuza yeah. managing to, honestly, Photon, those rats there, was helping out a lot. On some of those yeah, defenses. I think both teams showing up huge on their defense on that factory. Because I think that is a really difficult factory to defend. Like, I honestly do. <laughs> I think, just, yeah, no really attackers won that out. round, actually. And literally, the, the defenders just, you know, they, they, they pulled out the best, uh, best plan they could. And it worked for both teams. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, looking over at the other matchup. Uh, we saw Numbs win 7-5 on their first match. I'd have to download the player log real quick. To see the second one, uh, DP stats. Let's go. The second match, uh, I don't know. It says two three. I think that was a casual. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Did I? Oh, okay. I see they had two separate player logs. I downloaded the wrong one. One second. I'll grab it here real quick. Refresh DP stats. Bro, where is this? Is this download just not happening? Where did it go? It went here somewhere. <laughs> okay, 7 2. <laughs> the second game was 7 2. Finally. Um, yeah, pretty. Uh, that sounds like it was a pretty fun match. So, uh, yeah, Gnome's taking it, but I think possibly ships them up to second place in the rankings. Let me check the rankings real quick. I have to log into tournament. Come on. Okay. Uh, so YY, they get one point from that, putting them up to 15, while Gnomes get four points from that, put them up to 16. So yeah, Gnomes take up to second place, with Yakuza dropping down to third place. Oh, wow. Uh, so I think the, the top four teams we'll be seeing will be uh, Global Breakout, Gnomes, Yakuza, and uh, Kwakudama, with uh, Los Machachos and LCG heading into relegations, or heading down to relegations, I guess. Uh, so yeah. Tomorrow we'll be seeing the uh, the lower league qualifiers. It'll be the uh, the last chance for the uh, the lower league teams to earn their spots in relegation. Um, there'll be two lower league teams coming from from qualifiers into relegations. Uh, Kickflip and Lotus already in there. Um, uh, whoever wins the qualifier matches uh, tomorrow will face up against Kickflip and Lotus, and then. Uh, I think LCG will have their choice of the winners of those matches on who to face, and Los Machachos will face the, the other one. And whoever wins those makes Upper League in Season 6. 
God, we're already in season six, aren't we? Uh, we're season five right there. now, but we're, well, we'll yeah, be no, in season six like, soon. Oh, jeez. There'll be like a week or two break between season five and season six. Mm-hmm. We try and keep it pretty short to uh, to not let teams get too complacent. You know, we want teams to stay in practice. We want to keep up the competition. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think uh, playoffs will be starting next week, which will be fun, um, as well as relegation starting. So it's all it's all kind of moving up to the next stage. We've been getting getting pretty comfortable in the the kind of round robin Swiss and, and Swiss stages. But uh, yeah, I think that about does it for today. We saw some pretty awesome matches today. Um, some really close ones there in in, in this stream, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, it was really fun casting with you, sick gamer. Yeah, it was nice casting with you too, Roach. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed the uh, the streams today. I think that's about it. Also, uh, I guess yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thank you all for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.